<clears throat> Hello, guys. What's up, guys? How's it hanging? How is it hanging? I always thought when people said, how's it hanging? Doesn't it mean like your balls? Are they talking about how your balls hanging? Is that like kind of crude? <laughs> hey, man, how are your balls right now? I have noticed that, like, when you're getting sick, have a little bit of a fever, maybe, your balls kind of tend to sag a bit more. Maybe that's what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm right there with you, buddy. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, Mike? Be shady, be devious. LCV, Mark Parks, all the dudes. Hey, new member. What's up, man? Thanks, buddy. Yeah, and um, Christopher, thanks for that, too. <clears throat> it's 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 weird. Um, sometimes people have messaged me saying, like, I'm trying to become a member, but it's not letting me, and I can't find the button. It's just a hassle. So, yeah, th there you go. Um, <clears throat> if it's not working on your phone, sometimes you have to go on your computer. Sometimes you can go on your phone, but... Go to YouTube in the browser, not in the app. Sometimes that works. I got some new things in. Um, I'm not sure what I will show you. I'll show you some stuff. Can't show you everything, though. What's up, Ethan? Oliver, what's up, dude? Brongo. What's up, man? My Viper is awesome. <clears throat> I was on a Viper carrying streak there for a while. This is probably, it's still probably my most carried slip joint. Um, but lately I've been carrying some other things just to mix it up, but I still love my Viper. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's holding up great. Still just as perfect as the day I got it. Perfectly centered. Bucket top is nice. Yeah, just perfect. Speaking of slip joints, I have the new Rosecraft Nalachecki Jack. And let me tell you, it's the best Rosecraft. <clears throat> Absolutely the best Rosecraft. By, I don't want to say by a long shot, but it's significantly better. And it's not necessarily the fit and finish, although the, the walk and talk does feel a little better than a lot of the other, um, or I guess some of the other Rosecrafts I've tried, but it's the design. The design is so good. I, ha I have it here. I'll just take it out. Hold on. There we go, kind of. So it's got the, so the covers are like mossy, it's like mo, like moss bog bone or something like that. They're really nice. It's, they're like grayish green. It is real wood. It's got the rosebud inlay. Um, and just look at this thing, man. 
It reminds me a lot of my GEC 86. Look, it's got the long pull. Look at that long pull. It's got a nice, just such a perfect spear point blade. The big swedge. It's just freaking perfect, man. I think, you know, it reminds me a lot of my yellow rose, actually. <clears throat> Slightly different design. But look at how look at these how similar these blades are. Both really nice spear points with the fat swedge and the long pull. Really, really nice. Really nice. <clears throat> um, and they're pretty much the same size, too, actually. Yeah. Yep, pretty much the same size. Blade length <clears throat> is um, three inches. So it's perfect. It's not too big, not too small. Perfect. Uh, handles like three and seven eighths. The walk and talk is, I think, the best from any Rosecraft I've tried. Listen to that. Very, very nice. You guys are going to want to get one of these. And they didn't up the price, even, even though it feels like better. It's still only like 60 bucks. D2 blade still. Um, still. But... It's just really fucking good. Yeah, it's the best Brochcraft by far. So I'm happy they uh, <clears throat> they did something a little more kind of traditional. Like sometimes their designs get a little wild. <clears throat> um, but this one's like just very classically kind of traditional. So um Yes, actually, yes. If you well, if you buy it at TPK, I do. Yeah. Uh, if you go to traditional pocket knives to buy it, it's code um, Duty TPK. I think it's either Duty TPK or Duty Ten. I think it's Duty TPK. Um, but all that information is underneath every single video. Yeah, I like that they do uh, D two also. You know, if, if I'm going to have a budget steel on a traditional like, like this, I would want it to be D2, you know. It's more of like a carbon steel, sort of like the 1095, similar to 1095 that's used on GECs and stuff. <clears throat> it's absolutely perfectly centered, like as perfect as you can get. It's called the Nolichucky Jack. If I compared it to, this is the GEC number 86. The Nolichucky Jack has a little, almost like a, a more of a teardropped handle. Kind of. Actually, you know what? Yeah, the GEC feels different. But man, this feels fucking good too, man. Feels almost as good as my GEC. So. <clears throat> yeah, I've never rested D2 either. Ever, I'm not, I haven't even had a rest spot on D2. Um, I, I, I think that some people um, freak out about corrosion resistance a little too much, where they don't necessarily have to. Um, and again, I don't live in a part of the world that's super humid, so I really don't have to worry about it. But I know a lot of people that live in more humid areas and have never rested a knife. So it's just, but it also has to do with like your skin and your sweat. Like some people's sweat is more acidic than others. So that could have a, that could be a factor. Make these time to last week is sitting in limbo. I'm bringing him Alabama. Oh man, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. You're in the high desert. 
I live I live near the coast, like really near the coast. And um, yeah, I've never rested a knife. Um, you're talking about the wa waffle? It's going to be a sure Gorov. You're a ruster, Jim. Are you in a superhuman area or is it just like your skin that rests him? What's up, brand new? What's up, Tyler? Chef, eight months. Thanks, buddy. Only detail I've had arrested was a uh, Stone Wash Cobra Tech. Stuck on this e we Equivic. Yeah, um, I had never seen that until you sent me a video of it, actually. It looks fucking nice, man. I'm pretty impressed with Wii. I, I, I never really tried Wii until recently. I, I've tried a few, but. I never bought a Wii until recently. My first one was the Qubit, and now I have the uh, the Nefaris also, which is just really impressive. Two weeks in Brazil, got a rest spot underneath the pocket clip of a steel-handled knife, but the D2 is pristine. That's funny. Yeah, it takes a lot to rest D2 usually. Alabama and work outside. Okay, yeah. That'll probably do it. First read that wasn't a banter. I've actually been kind of tempted on that, the Warncliffe banter, a little bit. A little bit. Hawkbill Bay use cut leather. Um, I don't use a hawkbill blade for leather. I use my um, my hedgehog. I use my my uh, QSP hedgehog. That's a great leather knife. It's a great anything knife, really. But it's got that really very very thin tip, and it's like a you know you've seen it. It's like a a straight razor blade shape sort of thing. This is my, my carrion hedgehog, and then my other fat carbon hedgehog is out in the garage for leather stuff. But yeah, man, that tip is so good for leather. Oh, nice. Yeah, I actually tried one of those ones. I liked it. That's a Laconico design, right? Yeah, that was a good knife. The Conoco does not fail. A Raikou. Was that today? Not me. I am uh, I'm done for a little while. I'm, I'm trying to save up some Monet. There's a hedgehog for sale. Um, did anyone get that tactile today? The uh, what's it called? The chupacabra was that today? I think. I know. I think Jason got one. I heard they were having like they forgot to put jimping on the lock bar or something, and they were trying to get them get all the lock all the jimping done before they sent this drop out. I think. <clears throat> but I guess they they didn't put jimping on like the. This next lock, like tab that you pull back on, and you were just people are just slipping off of it. Or at least the people that got like the prototypes early or whatever. Oh yeah, the buoy. I think it looks fucking a little weird. Mm 
I think the fuller is way too fat. You know. Look at that huge fuller. Seems like you'd slip out of there. But it also looks bad. I wish that was a skinny one. I mean, it, you know, it's a nice buoy. I like the blade, actually, but with the handle, it just something looks a little weird. Maybe I'm just used to seeing it, you know, not with a buoy. So that's why it looks weird to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> really? That, yeah, I mean, that to me looked very, very bad. But, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, it seems like that's kind of a more common thing, huh? I know that happened with the, I can't remember what it was called. It happened with another knife they came out with. That's probably smart, yeah. Hang hang back a little bit. A fixed blade pyrite buoy? Yeah, I could see that being cool. Tim likes it. Maverick, yeah, that was it. Yeah, it kind of does seem like they, they rush things a little bit. I wasn't sure about that. Um, what the fuck's it called? Uh, bu -bu 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 What's it called? The Archer. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the Archer, but after looking at it more, I think I really like it. I mean, I'm, I'm never going to buy one, probably. It's 600 fucking dollars. But, I mean, look at that milling, man. It looks like a feather. It is so cool. I love that. I love you can see still see the tool path inside this little fuller here around the hole. I think that's cool. And it looks snappy too, at least from a couple of videos I've watched of it. Uh, I mean, look at that. This looks cool, dude. It does seem like a lot of money, but you know. It's a lot of very precise machining and, you know, USA made. So, it, you know, I don't know. It might seem a little, you know, and I could change my mind once I tried it. I could try it and be like, oh, shit, this is worth a thousand dollars, you know. But just being someone that hasn't handled it yet, just looking at it, it does seem a little high. Who knows? Hopefully one day I'll get to try one. Oh, is it really? Is it? A, I didn't know it was a TDA Schwartz. That's cool. USA made blade. Did you pick up besides the Rosier Aries? Um, not USA, but next on my next in my sights for top of the line knife that I'm going to buy is something from uh, Grimsmo, probably the Rask. I've been wanting something from Grimsmo for so long. I watch all their videos on YouTube. They're so fucking interesting. Like he walks you through how he makes the knives. He's at the milling machine. He's showing you what he's doing. And he's working on an integral button lock right now. That looks really fucking cool. Um, but I want one, I want a rask. I really want a rask. Um, he was I was watching one of his videos recently that he just put out, and he said that for the past like five years he's really been concentrating on getting the rask like absolutely perfect, because the Norseman has been out for a long time and they've perfected that. He's it's down to a science with the Norseman. So the past couple of years, he's been kind of more focusing on the Rasks, getting them up to the level that the Norsemans are at. So I feel like 
like now's a good time to get a rask. Um, so, and he did say they're going to start making less Norsemen. He said it's it's time to move on and try some new stuff. Um, so, you know, that makes sense. I'm not a huge fan of the Norsemen. I might like it if I tried it, but I'm more drawn toward the Rask. So, yeah, that, that's next on my list. It'll be a while after Blade Show, probably, maybe probably till the end of the year, really. But someday, someday soon, kind of soon. Archer's Tactile is the nicest looking model today. Yeah. I would probably say that, yeah. The Chupacabra looks good to me too, though. Um, I did not like... Well, let me just pull it up here. Yeah, here's the Chupacabra I think looks nice. Um, the Maverick I did not like. It just... It's... Just, I don't know. You know, the milling's cool and all, but it looks very simple. Almost like um, kind of a bug out kind of thing. I don't know. Just kind of blah and then um the rock wall yeah i don't know i never loved the rock wall um i do like it more than the maverick that's for sure and then the bear i've actually never tried i'm i'm i've always been tempted to buy one um but i've actually never tried one so i'm, I'm kind of hesitant I'd hate to get it and be like really mushy walk and talk or something like that. But yeah, I, I would agree. The Archer is probably the best looking one. Yeah. Basic as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, the Maverick. Grim's one at the Blade Show. Are they going to be there? Shit, I wonder if they're gonna have rasks. Like my bear, but QC is meh. What about it? What's up, man? Hell yeah. End of the day. Fuck yeah, dude. That reminds me, I need a fucking zen. What's on the way home about? I don't know. That's what I was afraid of. Is it like... Is it mushy or is it a weak pull? Because there's a difference. Like... Like the slip five. This is a very weak pull. But it's still snappy, like still like very um, defined half stop. Like you click into it and really nicely snaps shut really nicely. But it's a weak pull, like a baby could pull this out. So is the bear mushy or is it just a weak pull like like this? Because mushy, that's all bad, all, always bad. <laughs> oh really on the bear that sucks yeah that sucks they're expensive too i think aren't they 300 bucks or maybe is it 200 i don't know i think it's 200 let's see The blade stock is super thin, though, right? Oh, yeah, no, it's 200. The jigged tie version is 230 at traditional pocket knives. That's a sick version, though. It's somewhat mushy, somewhat snappy. Okay. It's so thin and cuts well, so I don't mind. Okay. That's good. I mean, it's got redeeming qualities. That's important. Maybe I'm still kind of interested. If I could find one on a deal, I would probably buy one. Nice, man. Congrats. 
titanium one too sweet Oh, you got the jig one? Nice. Yeah. Richard, what's up, man? 11 months, baby. Always good to see ya. Secondary for 150. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not even sure I would really want to spend 150 on it, honestly. So we'll just give me one. <laughs> oh, sick, Neil. Yeah. It's, dude, it's one of the best fucking knives for real. Speaking of TRM, I just got my Adam back. Look at this insanity. Look at that, dude. How fucking nuts is that? Oh, so nice. These are some of the nicest knives. I still like my Neutron 2 better than the Atom. But the Atom is, I mean, it's excellent. I just like the size. It's just, the, the Neutron 2 is just perfect for my hands and for, like, I don't know, what I want for ADC knives. Perfect size. But man, these things are so butter smooth on washers. It's insane, dude. Just, and for some reason, the titanium ones feel smoother. It's probably just my, you know, it's probably just my mind playing tricks on me. Because it's, the, the, the liners are the same. I can pop these off and put my car to scales on this, you know. Yeah, absolutely. That's how I do slips. Some people make them a little more loose. I like to make them really like tight where they, they're not wide, they're, they're more thin. That's how I do them. <laughs> oh man, I do actually. I didn't for a while. I So I had a large Sabenza. And I sold it. And I recently made a trade for a small Sabenza. I haven't made a video on it yet or anything. I was going to keep it a secret, but since you asked, yes. Plain Jane, so it can get all nice and, you know, worn in and snail trailed up how I like it. Um, I like it better than the large, I think. It's just, it's a better size. Um, still very stiff feeling, just like the large. It re The action really feels exactly like the large. Um, I think I like the, the size a little better. I like that it's a plain Jane, so the, my old one was, a, my large was an inlaid, uh, inlaid version, my Carta. Um, and, um, yeah, I just think I like it better. Um, it does still have the the rock, the slight rock. Same same thing large had. So yeah, the exact same. Put pressure on the on the spine, you feel it moving. Um, so that's a little bothersome, and I knew it was going to. Well, no, I didn't know, but I assumed it would because I heard that's what I heard is that all cements are that way. Um, but you know, I like the knife, so whatever. It's not like it's going to disengage on me. <laughs> yeah, 
CRK fans can rejoice. I am back in the club. I'm back in the Benza club. The Benza boys. You're still waiting? Goddamn, man. What's the tracking say? What's up, Needham? How you doing, buddy? Craig Brown knife? Like what? I'm not very familiar with his, his stuff. Uh, I feel like I would create. Yeah, you would absolutely like it more in titanium. Absolutely. I do have a pair of, of my Carter scales, extra my Carter scales for the Neutron 2 if you're interested. Um, probably add a little bit of weight. And I liked my Micarta Neutron 2. I still have it. But with it in titanium, it's a whole it's a whole new game. It's a whole different thing. Do they ever sell sell just this just those lizard skin titanium scales? Or are they always um, on the knife when they sell them? I don't think I've ever seen them just the scale. What's up, Stone? How you doing, buddy? Craig Brown. So that's different than... Craig Brown is different than Brown, right? Or is that the same thing? Oh, they do? Really? The lizard skin... Uh, the lizard skin scales? I haven't seen it in a while, but I have seen it before. Okay. Well, you can always look out for that or just just buy one, just buy an, an, a different Neutron 2 in titanium scales and sell that, sell your old one. How much are they by themselves? The whole knife is expensive. I think it was like, what was it? How much did I pay for that? It's not cheap at all. Um, fuck, I'll just go to the website. Oh, Craig Brown is the FSD. Okay, all right. I have tried a Jaeger. I liked it. And um, Jason is selling me an FSD to try. So I will finally... Get to try one. I can't wait. Jaeger is Brian Brown, not Craig. So Craig Brown does the FSD, right? Or no? <clears throat> I don't know. Someone fucking tell me. Um, okay, yeah, they don't have any on here. I thought I could see how much they were. This is cool. I don't know who Mike Erie is, but he, he's probably a famous sharpener. Um, but he's doing a few hand ground, hollow ground um, atoms. That's pretty fucking sweet. I can't imagine how slicey that's going to be. Fucking crazy. Oh, they're doing... Oh, there's going to be a, a lizard skin one, too. 500 bucks, though. Fuck. Camo carbon, 415. Carbon fiber, uh, 400. So they're only adding 100 bucks for, this, for the uh, titanium scales. That's pretty reasonable. Okay, yeah. So Craig Craig Brown 
from brown knives is the FSD and Cortex. The Bri Brian Brown is the Jaeger and Raptor. Gotcha. Go to scales. Okay. Oh, here you go for the atom. Two thirty. Those are some expensive scales, but it's the best fucking texture I've ever seen on titanium. So, for me, fucking hell yeah, worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. So it is better to buy the knife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. As soon as I sold my large Benza, I knew that I wanted to try a, a small. I already knew that. I just was waiting for the right deal to come across because I didn't want to buy one new. Padre, hell yeah, the, the Padre is awesome. Actually traded mine for the Sabenza. <laughs> but I'm banking on the fact that I'll be able to get another one. So hopefully that works out. What from OG's uh, OG Goat? Yeah, they take forever. Yeah, the textured titanium hinderer scale is 200. Yeah. So, yeah, the TRMs are a better deal and way better texture. Way better. You have a chef, a silver axe, and a manticore. Damn. That's sweet. Actually, you know what? I was, I don't even know what blade steel this is. I was thinking about that today. I was like, man, I didn't even check the box. Let me grab the box. Because, yeah, it's not marked on the blade. I think it is on the inside, but you can't see it from the outside. Um, S45. Yep, S45. Which actually I'm pretty happy about. Because my old Sabenza was in Magna Cut. So now I'll be able to kind of feel the difference. And um, I'm kind of Magna Cut it out. It'd be nice to have something different. Better edge retention, yeah, absolutely. Silverax is the favorite knife I own. Damn. Maybe I gotta try that thing. I don't know. That would be fucking sweet, man. I would ask him about it for sure. Um, with the small Sabenza? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Facebook group people have gotten tours on drop ins. Okay, cool. That's a good sign. I 
I got a, another really pretty good concept too. Um, I was going to save it for a video, but nah, fuck it. So concept has sent me two knives. So wait, no. Yeah. Two knives so far. First one was the Loki, which I really liked. Loki is awesome. And now this one, I've already opened it and played with it a little bit. And I think I really fucking like it. It's called the Turaco. The Turaco. It's a front flipper only titanium frame lock. This one's got tiger striped stuff, whatever you want to call it. Pretty simple. And I like, I kind of like that it's a front flipper only. I kind of miss those. Really nice uh, front flipping action. Look at that blade too. I just like it. It's like super simple, but good. I don't know. It's really smooth. The front, I mean, the front flipper is really nice. It's a really good front flipper. It's kind of like angled back a little bit, almost like the on the Padre, you know? Um, here goes are really good. It's a smaller knife, but I can, I can get a full, nice, full grip, really full grip. But if you have big, big hands, you might, it might be a little small. Um, I don't know, man. I fucking like it. I wonder how much it is. We should look it up. It's like a hybrid milled clip. So you can see the it's a milled titanium clip, but it's milled to be almost like a bent clip. Kind of interesting. It does look like a Laconico, yeah. It's designed by Jared Price. I'm not sure who that is. S35BN blade steel. Um... Yeah, I actually really like it, man. You do the over the top, side finger, you can do all this stuff. But it's really nice. It's fun to front flip. Like, it's one of those that's just fun to front flip. Um, let's see how much this is and see what other versions they have. I think Concept's kind of killing it, man. I mean, the Loki and then this. I'm pretty, I'm happy. I'm happy with them. So it's 169. Okay. That's, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Here's one in bronze titanium. That looks nice. Oh, blue clip, blue hardware. I kind of like that. I'm not a huge tiger stripe guy. I was thinking about maybe uh, throwing this in the rock tumbler. Instantaneous one hand deployment. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, let's go. Ooh, the plain one's nice too. Just plain 160. And then they have a blacked out one. 163. Uh, oh, it is a black stone wash. Okay, that's good. I like that better than just a, like a black coated. And then the tiger stripe. I don't know the bronze one's nice. If I if I had could pick any of them, I probably would have picked the, this bronze one. So, yeah, we'll do a cut test with it. See how it cuts. It should be pretty good. Um. Blade stock's pretty, you know, it's not super thin, but it's not thick either. Let's measure behind the edge. Sixteen thousandths. Yeah, sixteen thousandths. That's pretty good. It's uh it's smooth too.
Listen to that. That's a good word for Loki. Yeah, the Loki really is sick. I think I like, well, I don't know. I think I still like the Loki a little bit more. Loki's just really good. I love the design. But this is great, too. This is one I could see myself carrying a few times, you know, semi-regularly. Titanium is slippery. Um, this actually almost has like a like a, a texture to it. I can't really explain it. It doesn't smell like smooth titanium. Maybe it's this tiger striping that does that. I don't know. Um, that's a tough one. There's a few that have done really well. Um, the Demco Shark Cub, um, with the, what's it called? What's that blade shape called? The Slicer? Yeah, I think it's called the Slicer Grind. Or the Slicer, sl uh, slicer Blade. Um, that one did really well. Um, all the TRMs did really, really well. Especially the shadow did really well. Um, hmm. What else? I mean, a lot of the spider co the, the, the spider codes do really well always. Like the Manix two is a great one. Um, those are the ones that stand out to me at least right now. The uh, surprisingly, the the pyrite does, does really well. It's pretty thin blade stock on that one. Um, the native five, Spidey Chef did really good. So those are just a couple. The Cody Scout, hell yeah, and a Liberty, nice man. Yeah, hit me up if you want a slip or multiple slips. Which one, Dan? The Fenrir? Yeah. It's a great knife. Really good cutter. King Carrion wouldn't ever give up. What's King? The Rosie, baby. The Rosie's King. Or Queen. The Rosie is Queen, I guess. Oh, uh, the, um, the Turaco. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, do the cut test, but just playing around with it and feeling it, it, I would recommend it. I think the one small nitpick I have is the inside edge of this lock bar, um, is a little sharp. And that's really the only nitpick I can think of right now. Perfectly centered. Yeah, rock solid. I like the finish too. It's almost like a, a little more reflective stone wash. Twenty point five shark's foot. Hell yeah. That's my favorite one. Is the Rosie a one and done knife for everything? I think it could be. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, let's put it this way. If I had to get rid of all my knives, I would keep the Rosie. That's the one I would keep. Is it the best knife for everything? No. I mean, it's more... It's not, I wouldn't call it a hard use knife, but you can get some work done with it, but it's not like a batoning knife. You know, it's not like a go chopping knife. It's an excellent, excellent PDC knife. If I was taking a knife into like a survival situation, a folding knife, that would be my Demco 8020. That's a good question, though. Let's ask everybody. 
If you had to sell all your knives but one, what would it be? FSDI with the back time access inlay is my keyboard. Ooh, yeah. Is that the one in your in your photo right there? It's fucking beautiful. Don't even know. Oof. <laughs> I know, it's a hard decision. Well, for me, it's pretty easy. But before I had the Rosie, it would have been more difficult, for sure. I didn't know. I can't afford it right now, sadly. Rosie for Roger, yep. The F-22. Mac-2 or Harsey. Mimo can't do it. <laughs> FSDI, nice. A-15, that's a good one. That's a knife that can literally do everything. Toss up between Rosie and the Moon Zone. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. We already know Mike's Silver X. Large Sabenza and S45. Nice. Another Sabenza. Direwear Solo. Sounds like a custom. Nefarious. Xiphius. Diva Buzz with Zerkutai. Ooh. Michael can't do it. <laughs> That's a nice uh, apex you got there in the photo. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. F5.5. Yeah. S90V bug out. Yeah. Right on. Pulsar XL and Shiny DLC. Wow, that's cool. You shady can't do it either. Come on, man. Just do it. FSDI. A lot of FSDs. There's a Lamia. Oh, do Rosie, but slow to get the mini FSD. Yeah, well, I haven't tried. I haven't tried an FSD yet. It'd be interesting to see if if I would do the same. I don't know. I wouldn't do it without trying it. That's for sure. It would take a lot to dethrone the Rosie. It would take a lot. I don't. I can't picture it it happening. Adam Griffin F three and the nine. Those are all good. Spartan Plague Doctor. Large Drift. Yeah, that's pretty sick. You sold it? Old Spider Co. Gifted me in Labrador. Nice. Nice. Swiss Army Knife. Yeah. The sentimental knives are hard to let go. Can't fake 10 on one. Come on, Jim. Got a Lamia coming. Can't wait to see if it can dethrone the Rosie. I don't know, man. I just based on looks alone, I would say no for me. Just based on looks, though. And that's, you know, that's definitely not everything. Thick boy. Ooh, that's sick. That'll be nice. Mini FSD better than the Rosie. How big is the mini FSD? Bigger or smaller than the Rosie? Can't be smaller. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. They're hard to get. An 
Adam, nice. Praetorian D, nice. What's up, Ron? What's up, man? Are you grinding on XM18? Sweet. Yeah, I, I got one on mine too. Mini FSD and the FSD are full size knives, I would say. Yeah, I remember that the mini FSD is like normal knife size and the FSD is like pretty fucking huge, right? NX2, I've yet to pass the 200 range of my knife journey. I mean, that's this fucking great knife, man. It's super good. How long have you been? Um, how long have you been in the knife journey? Some people it takes longer than others to break, you know, the whatever two hundred dollar um, barrier. I'm trying to remember how long it was for me. Definitely at least like six months, I would say, maybe longer. Jay, what's up, man? Glad you're liking it. Okay, yeah, the mini FSD is 3.5. Yeah. That's about the max of what I usually go for on blade length. I wonder, do you guys think I should go for an FSD before I would go for a Rask? I don't know. Ferrum Forge Alluris. I'm not sure what that is. Speaking of Ferrum Forge, I've kind of been wanting. Uh, ooh, that's nice. I've kind of been wanting one. Um, so the, the, so the Alluris looks like the Archbishop, but without the hole. Is that correct? Yeah, well, maybe not exactly the same. It looks pretty similar. Um, I have an Archbishop here that, um, Oliver lent me that I really like. Really like it. FSD by the Rask. Mark says yes. Not a fan of the Rask. I told one. Yeah, that is pretty freaking sweet. It seems like FSD is the consensus. Thanks, Ron. Everyone like the stream, please. Would um all, all the Ferrum Forge designs if they drop the flipper and go close that hole. You know, I actually like their flipper tabs a lot. I'll just grab it. It's really cool because it's like kind of pointing downward when it's closed. And then when it's open, it's curling up 
and creates like a really comfortable choke up spot, like it's cradling your finger right in there. Um, so, yeah, I actually like it a lot. This is a this is a sweet knife. Snappy, contoured handles. It's kind of just a lot of things I like in a knife, you know. Choke up spot, snappy, two deployments, you know. That's funny. I was I was literally thinking practice when I was looking at it, because it has that same little thumb ramp thing. Rockstead, I think they're beautiful. I actually got to try one recently, and it was very very nice. Oh, the Stinger button lock. Yeah, that's that's one I've been kind of wanting to try too. Um, is it actually snappy though? Is the question. Is it really similar to the Cubit? Okay, well, shit. The Cubit is the is the bar. Oh, it's made by we. Okay, well there you go. Perfect. Um, yeah, I actually used to have a Stinger, a G10 one. Um, man, that thing was a, that was a slicer. That was a long time ago. Um, it was a really good cutter, very thin, thin blade, thin overall, thin handle too. Uh, let's look at that. I wonder, can you still buy those? Button lock, Stinger. Yeah, but HQ's got one with the inlay. Is there a plain one? It's only 200 bucks. Oh, yeah, here we go. 194. Yeah, that's tempting. That is tempting. Ugh, it's still it's still Nitro V, though. Mm. That's unfortunate, but I don't know. If it's a great knife, I could I could deal with Nitro V probably. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Feels like a well tuned D ten in in it, not a button lock, it's so insane. All right. Well, you are convincing me. Um, I said, no, I haven't actually, no. Gotta shout out the rest again. Oh, you got the, the email with the code and all that stuff? I've never gotten one for the Rask. I get a pretty good amount of, of emails about the pen, but I don't think I've ever gotten a code for a Rask. Maybe once. But yeah, it always comes when I can't afford it, which is like 99% of the time. <laughs> Later, buddy. See ya. Don't like Nitro V? No, not really. I'd rather have D2. Check white mount and cheaper there. Okay. I could buy a knife right now. I have a tiny bit of extra money. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> Stinger. One ninety four with the code. 
be like 184. Um, that's the plain one. Oh, it's out of stock. Never mind. Never mind. Unless there's one. Oh, here's an inlaid one for. Oh, there's an inlay for 183. I actually kind of like the plain one, though. But that's not bad. That's, at least it's plain carbon fiber. 183. I mean, that'd be 173 with the code. That's pretty good. Still, I don't know. Nitro V, though? I don't know. Is it really that good that it's that it's okay that it's Nitro V? This one is a return for button stick. Is that the one I was looking at? Yeah, it is. So that's the only one available, looks like, actually. This return. I don't know. It's a lot for Nitro B. Oh, you ordered one. Hell yeah. You'll like it, man. You'll really like it. The blade is not sharp. What are you talking about? Which one? On oh, the stinger? Oh, you got one too. Hell yeah. Yeah. One of the best movies. Is it a movie? You're talking about Shogun? Uh, oh, dude. I just finished that. It's fucking awesome. Awesome show. I, re I mean, I really... Are they planning on making a second season? Because it ended where they definitely, definitely need to. I hope they do, because, yeah, that was great. Kind of a cliffhanger, really. One twenty six. Was it a return or something? It was in Japanese. Yeah, it probably was uh, Shogun then. That's a great show as well. Oh, a Christmas sale. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save my money for the Jack Wolf sale coming up. There's a huge Jack Wolf sale. Huge. For a, They're doing a second sale for the first time. And it's going to be at um, some knife uh, website I've, I had never heard of before. What was it? TLC Night, I think. Let me see. It's coming up. I think it's tomorrow, actually. Let me find out. Um... I think it was up to like 40%. 40% off for the blemished ones. And then traditional pocket knives is also having a sale. And those are 20%. Um, which is still great. But I'm going for the factory seconds. Um, where did I see that? You know what? It's in my calendar. Let me see. Yep, it is tomorrow. Oh, it's TSA Knives. TSA Knives. I've never heard of these guys. But they're having the blemished Jack Wolf sale. So it's tomorrow at, I think it was 11 Central. Um, let's see. Here we go. This is your chance 
to get a Jack Wolf. You will never find one this cheap ever again. Factory second sale, 40% off. And then a regular collection sale, 20% off. So it says, these dives didn't pass Jack Wolf's strict cosmetic quality control standards, but are still top-notch in performance and durability. So you might have a scratch or something with the scale, but it's going to be a perfectly functioning knife, um, which is absolutely fine with me. 11 a.m. Se um, Central. So that's, I think, 9 for me. Um, the only one I really want is the, the, uh, little, the little bro jack. I think this is the one that I'm after. Uh, none of the other ones, are, I mean, they're all they're all nice, but this is the last Jack Wolf that I want, the little bro Jack. So, we'll see. I mean, they're probably gonna go super fast, but I'll be there. I'll be there trying to get a little bro Jack. We'll see. Also, they're probably gonna have some of the older ones in my carta which is excellent. I like that. I wish you would bring back with my Carta. Feel good or the Cyborg? Yeah. Jack Wolf out on YouTube? Oh, weird. I didn't know he was doing that. All right, we have to, we actually went a little over tonight. Let's uh let's wrap it up, dude. Let's wrap it on up. Is there gonna be blemished gunslingers, really? Shit. That's cool. Well, hope all of you guys get a jack wolf if you're going for one. Um, that's it. Have a great uh, night. Have a great Friday tomorrow. It's Friday. That's cool. And I'll see you Saturday morning in here. We'll do it. All righty. Love you guys very much. And the drawing for... Actually, you know what? The drawing's not until next week, yeah. Next Thursday, drawing for the... Uh, the 9,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't entered yet, watch that video. Love you guys. I'll see you soon.